Hello, and welcome back to Open, everyone. Our last guest is a, an extraordinary individual from the Bronx that is, well, he's all about using his talents to bring political change in the community. And joining us to tell us more about himself and his work for the Bronx and abroad, please welcome Dilson. Hello, Dilson. Hello. Welcome back, I should say. Happy New Year to you, my Happy friend. Happy New Year to you, too. Oh, my Thank goodness. Thank you for I'm so, me again. Oh, we're it. so excited to have you here, really. I, and as you know, um, I, we were speaking prior to getting on air, and I, I just just want to share with everyone, you know, as, as far as yourself being, you are open artist spotlight and you are uh, talented in the realm of music and you play different instruments, right? What are the right. instruments you play? Guitar. Guitar, piano, harmonica a little bit, drums, I dabble, I'm not that great, but still. It's yeah, all right. Yeah. It, it's all good. But you mentioned <laughs> this, so yeah, he plays drums right, too. Just tight. Right? So <laughs> Un poquito. Okay. And so you're also a spoken word artist mm -hmm. and um, and then of course you, you sing, right? right. Um, and I'm sharing all of this with you guys because um, his choice of work uh, or his line of work is what fascinates me the most about Dilson. And, and you can share with everyone uh, why it is that you've chosen to take that path. Um, let's share with them what it is right, first. Right, right. <laughs> so um, first and foremost, I work with an org organization called Friends of Island uh, Academy. And um, we're basically an organization that advocates and supports youth who are incarcerated or throughout the, our five boroughs, or also do youth who have been involved in the justice system in whatever way, so they don't have to be incarcerated for us to actually work with them. Um, but I, I, I've chosen that path, that path because I've always been passionate about um, the work of, of mass in incarceration as, as a whole. I think traditionally speaking, um, there haven't been that much services when it comes to those who are incarcerated. So once they're released in, into the community, it's almost like, where can I go? What services do, can I utilize? So when I'm working with youth especially, um, it's kind of tragic sometimes. So what are your references youth in age uh, range? Uh, 15 to like 24. So I mean, youth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no, I just want to be clear. Right, 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 and right. then, uh, how long have you been doing this now? Because you've been doing this a while, right? Uh, not too long. It's probably two years, just about. Yeah, but prior to that, you were doing something else with the institutions. Right, right. I was, I was hosting hip hop workshops at Rikers Island. Right, right and right. so the point is, is that it's your path in, I, I guess, providing a space of hope of for course. these individuals who may feel somewhat, um, I guess, displaced. Right. Uh, I coming think music back into society resonates with everybody. Right. And especially our youth so in, if we utilize it in a way that gets them involved and that makes them think about their communities and themselves a bit more they could use it and who knows where they could take it you know so uh, developing yourself as a musician did you ever like see yourself being in like the mainstream or did you know that you wanted to use it for uh, for lack of a better word, to heal people, because I mean, even though music is healing, technically, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that, but I see you're 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 directly, you know, engaging with a, a certain community that can uh, really use the healing uh, on a personal note. Right. I think um, I've always kind of viewed it as like both. I've always wanted to showcase my art in such a way that's like this is what I do, and like I hope you guys enjoy it. But at the same time, I think artists should be held uh, uh, accountable in reaching out to. Um, their fans, so to speak, or even their pe people in mm -hmm. their c c community and engage in that art and seeing how they could possibly utilize it in their own personal lives and for, for, for the sake of growth and... Yeah, I think it's always been a, 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 a both both side of the spectrum. For well, me. of course, as yeah. an artist. And so before we go, and before you perform for us, I yeah, should yeah. say, because we're going to get a taste of his, his performance, yes. Um, is there a particular story or a certain uh, individual that has uh, touched you in in seeing uh, your work impact? Um, I would say uh, my own family members, even though a lot of my family hasn't really seen me perform. Um, I think this next song, which I'm about to perform, speaks on like... Um, those who come from DR who migrate to this country and experience uh, that this country is not really all flowers and rainbows like they all thought it, it would be and traumas that go through that, um, that come with that. So I, I think the stories that uh, my family members have shared with me um, inspired this next song and it has always kind of resonated with me and always made me want to 
uh, channel that art a bit more and just push it forward and keep it moving. So, so I'm assuming the name of the song is Somewhere Over the Rainbow? <laughs> Possibly. I know, no, I couldn't help not. myself. I, I couldn't help myself. No, on a serious yeah. note, it's lovely that you've uh, been inspired by your, your move or I guess the family's transition into America, right? right. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, and so what do you want to leave everybody with? Um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I, I, I don't really have much words, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, the song's basically about that, and, uh... What is the name of the song? The song is Nereida. Can you, can you, can you sing it with me? Like maybe oh, we can, like, I can, I can rock it, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. No, wait, I know, you didn't say anything All about right. high notes. So, mm -hmm. All right, ready, okay, ready, go. And... Nereida. There you go. You I'll got go it. down. You know, I, I mean, we, we could kind of work it over, over the break. Maybe you could bring up a microphone and we could kind of like. Well, work. I'm not going to perform with Why you. Why not? You could rock, rock the stage mm -hmm. with me. This no. is your open artist okay, spotlight, gotcha, gotcha. and I will be on the sidelines and providing, you know, the song Rent Space in my head. I'll be singing it the rest of the day. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you so much for being course, here with us. All right, Dilson. All right, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. But when we return, Dilson will perform Nereida for us when we come back. <laughs> 